hello friends welcome to tutorial days and in this video i am going to show you how to host your php mysql project on live server and that is totally free so guys this uh, video will be very helpful for the students normally for the new learner anyone who has developed their project in local host but now wants to host the project on the, the server as you know the server and domain is very costly and at the time of learning it is not wise decision to sell out your money to spend money so it's better to host the project on a free server but there are a lot of free server which has always uh, add but in this case there will be no add at all so i'm going to show you where to host your project totally for free and that is for lifetime so let's start okay so now let's open here infinity free this is the website you need to open so the website name is infinityfree.com here you need to register first so i will click on this register button once you click on register button then here you will need to put your email id this is my gmail id which i am going to use this and then you need to put password here you need to check on agree and then sign up ok it will send email to your gmail id now i will check yes i received this email and verify once you verify this account and come here then the first thing what you need to do is to create account you might be thinking that why this company is so generous that they are providing uh, free hosting for php mysql yes as you can see there are a lot of ad you know here so they earn some money from this ad and also once you are satisfied then you may be uh, thinking to buy uh, or upgrade your account in that case you will pay so these are the ideas now let's click on create account you can create here up to three accounts so that means what with one email id you can create three accounts and you can host three projects as you can see here these are the paid one even the paid one is very cheaper as compared to other hosting provider but at this point of time we are going to use the first one this one now click on this one and then here you have two options either you will uh, be given here free domain which is, will be a sub domain actually and here if you have any domain then you can use your custom domain so I'm not going to but uh, if you uh, want to uh, purchase any custom domain so that means you will have to spend money but at this point of time I'm not interested in spending money so I will use this domain because we are going to host a demo project here so domain name as I mentioned you before that this one is very good for learning purpose particularly now I will select this so these are the options you can select any one of these so I sometimes I select this one and uh, so this is okay now check availability yeah this is available now you need to put here password once you put a password then click on create account now finally our account has been created now click on open control panel click on I approve once you approve this then you will be redirected to this cpanel 
this is the panel but not full fledged but enough to do the fundamental task after you come here the first thing what you need to do is and here yeah, in the meantime you do one thing uh, let's go to accounts and then check if our domain has been activated or not so this is your account and let's check our domain name if you click here and then click on this one also so at this point of time our domain is not active now what we will do then now click on file manager okay and then click on hdocs delete and then delete so we will delete all the files here and first thing what we will do is create one file index.php and then php echo hello world save it and now this is our domain name let's check here if it has been activated or not no still it's not active so we need to wait for few minutes so finally guys you can see our website is live okay this is our website and now you can see the file manager we will go edit so this is the code we have written here php code if you want to verify more then dollar a equals to 90 dollar b equal to 50 and then let's add here echo dollar a plus dollar b save let's check whether it's reflected or not so as you can see hello world 140 it is displaying that means what the php is working now the next step will be how to connect the database and how to use database because that's the central point that's the main point because a lot of there are a lot of websites which supports static website which, uh, but uh, there is uh, there are very few server which supports mysql and a php together and in this server it supports php and mysql together so we will see if really it works or not so for that what we will do let's go back here and now you can see mysql database let's create one database it's already actually a uh, database here so this one is host name this is port number password and uh, database so let's create our own database we'll name it as tutorial raise so create database now the database has been successfully created so this is our database name now we will write a connection here database connection and we will check whether it's working or not so this is our database connection string localhost username password so we will replace from here so our database name is this one let's write here database database name name field so uh, first this is our database we have written another line for database selection 
MySQL I select DB and uh, server name in our case is not localhost but this is our host name right so we need to write this host name here and uh, username we will find here username this is the, our username and finally we will write password password is here so let's copy it and then paste password that's it now save it and we will check whether it's working or not so as you can see it is saying connection successfully that means what or mysql database successfully has been connected with php so now we will use here php admin and we will create one simple uh, table okay let's name it as uh, students then id auto increment primary key first name last name email so these are the fields we will be using worker 255 255 this one is worker as well 255 okay and now finally let's save it right or database has been successfully created the next step will be to fetch the data and display so let's go to the file the file file manager this d docs and finally here and below here we will write a query to fetch the data but before that let's insert here manually one data so So this is the dummy data which I have just entered. Now let's add another one. Right, so two records we have currently. We would like to display here at this. So guys, this is the SQL query select our select id first name last name from students our table name is student right so we will display here id first name and the last name you can write last name this is just to display that that uh, our mysql and php is working perfectly now let's refresh it and guys as you can see successfully it displayed the data ID, first name, last name. So this way, guys, you can host uh, e-commerce project or whatever uh, kind of project you want. You can host here and uh, show this URL to anyone you want. So hope this video is useful for you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.